Sam from Tool Hut. Today we got a 99 Ford Explorer rebuilt PCM. We're going to use FJDS. New customer, new tool, new setup. Stand by. So today's a little different. I got a customer that ordered a uh, Drew Technologies Kardec Plus 3 from me. We set it up, got it installed, and I'm here doing some training, and I decided to uh, record the training session. So uh, we are on location at American Auto Works in Burton, Michigan, and we're going to program a 99 Ford Explorer rebuilt PCM with the Kardec Plus 3. Okay, so once your FJDS is licensed, registered, and everything, we're going to open it up here and we're going to start a new session here. So up at the top, and then the tick mark down in the lower right corner is your continue button. So it says to put the key on J2534 device attached, etc., etc. We've already chose our J2534 device earlier. So ask me if it's an Explorer or a Mountaineer, and then it wants to know the model year. These early ones don't, uh, you don't have to put the VIN in them, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. Uh, it sees the PCM as for multiple years and multiple applications. So it is a five liter automatic California emissions vehicle. So it just can tell it yes, that is in fact the the right information. Uh, this is something we just skip in the aftermarket. This is that work order uh, in the setup function. You can turn that off. So now we're going to go up to the toolbox up the top. We're going to go to module programming, then programmable module installation, and we're going to pick the PCM. It's going to ask us to turn the key off. Now the PCM that was in this did not communicate. So the, the replacement PCM was already in this vehicle. So it's doing the PCM programming now. I have sped this process up quite a bit. Turn the key off. Turn the key back on. Then there's some module configuration that needs to be done because it didn't get it out of the original module. This is a two-wheel drive Explorer, so we're going to choose 4x2 for both functions here. It wants to know if it's manual shift on the fly or 4x4 electronic shift or 4x2. So we're going to tell it 4x2 on both functions there. It tells turn the key off. It does a quick program. I did not speed that process up. That's as fast as it went. Turn the key on. It says the calibration's been loaded and checked. It wants the key back off. And if you programmed a six liter diesel, it wants you to put the, the fuel injection control module relay back in. So start the engine. The engine will not start because we haven't done the patch function on it yet. So uh, we just hit the continue button, key off. Then it's going to clear the codes here. key off again. You do have a lot of key cycles in, in Fords. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is go back to our toolbox. We're going to go to patch functions. We have to do what they call a parameter reset here. If you see here, it says that it requires parameter reset after PCM or patch module. It says yes. Somebody forgot to turn the key on, so start over again. Patch functions, hit the tick mark. It says it can take 10 minutes. Okay, I guess I don't have much choice. So I want to get this done. I did speed this up 
quite a bit. I wanted to see the whole thing, but at the same time, I didn't want it to take 10 minutes, so I made it 20 times as fast, so it should be 30 seconds. Wish it was really this fast. It says my operations have been successful and I have been granted security access. So I do the parameter reset. Then it asks me what module did I replace. So it tells me to turn the key off, uh, disconnect the DLC, let it set for 10 seconds, and then cycle the key three times to initialize the PCM and then start the engine. So that's what I do. Vehicle starts right up. Everything works just fine. Want to see some more videos like this? Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell if you want to be notified as I'm letting them go. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Questions, criticisms, comments suggestions put it down there want to hear from you as long as it's clean i'll leave it if it's not i'll delete it have a great day